hello in this video i'm going to show you how to get the beautiful mac os 15 socora on your desktop without breaking the bank and with this customization we are going to get a lot of features and animations on our desktop which is going to make it more powerful and clean so, so without further ado let's get started into the video to get started this customization we are just going to start with the easiest one which is by installing my dog finder which is a custom dog which looks like mac os and if you don't know much about it you can watch my video on this my dog finder and i will explain to you all the hidden features and anything you can know about this software so when you extract it you are going to be greeted with all these files what i recommend you do is to cut it and paste it in your local this so i'll go here and what i'm going to do over here is to create a folder and this folder what i want you to do is to contain all the files we are going to use for the customization and in case of any thing or in case we want to go back to our previous windows we can just delete this folder and our windows will be back and running like a charm but if you want to go back to your previous windows without any hassle i recommend you create a restore point on your computer and it's very easy just search for restore point and click on it and here what you have to do is to create and give it a name and then click on create once done you can close it and here click on configure and you can just give it a mass usage size and i'm going to keep my at 10 gig and click on apply and click on ok so once i'm done i can just click on ok and i can continue with my customization so i'll open my doc finder and here what i'm going to do is to click on doc64.exe and here what you are going to see is that this dock has been added to your windows and it's pretty cool and beautiful if you want to know more about it you can watch the previous video i've made about this dock and it has some kind of amazing features and i recommend you watch it so once we have this dock what we are going to do is that we are going to add our own icons to it which is pretty much easy to to do that is pretty easy what you have to do is to what you have to do is to click on your windows button and here you can go to all apps and look for the app you want to paste on your dock and right click on it and here click on more and choose open file location once you are here you can just drag the application and paste on your dock and it's going to be paste here and it's pretty amazing so i've pasted this to apps and i think it's okay for me so let's continue and if you are seeing this question mark icons on your dock it means some icons has been pasted on the dock and it's the app is not available for you so you can just right click on it and remove the dock app and it's very easy once you've removed all and you've pasted your own favorite ones i think we can go to the next step i've provided a lot of wallpapers in the description below just choose any of them you like and set it as the background and it's going to replace your windows background and it's really nice once you have this wallpapers the next step is to set the macOS Kesa on our windows to set the macOS Kesa, you are going to see this file and just download it up once you open it it's going to give you a lot of files over here and it contains all the Kesa from the beginning of macOS to the latest version and i recommend you choose the serial and the newer here it's going to ask you to choose either you want the one with shadow or with no shadow and i'm going to go with no shadow and i'm going to go with the normal size and here i'm going to see a lot of files and but what i recommend you do is to go back and drag the normal on your desktop once you have it here you can close this one up and open the folder up to do over here is to right click on the install.enf and click on install accept click on yes once the installation is done it's going to open this up the next thing we are going to do is to get the macOS widgets on our computer and we can do that with only these two files which is going to make our windows widgets look more like macOS. and the first thing we can do is to install this remitter app so installing remitter is just some simple windows installation setup just click on this and click on install 
and the installation setup will install the Remeter software and here we can click on finish to launch the app once it's launched it's going to load some default skins on it just right click on any of them and click on unload skin once you've unload them you can just click on this skin and click on install once the installation is done you are going to see this pop-up which is going to contain all the widgets we are going to use and here feel free and choose the widgets you prefer and the ones i'm going to go with it's a is the monitoring the clock the calendar and also music so once you've added these ones on your desktop you can just click on them and drag it to where you want and what i'm going to do here is to make this one large is to make this one white and with this white i think it's very beautiful and nice and i'm going to add the clock over here and with this i'm going to make this one too large and bring it here and also put my calendar here once i have this i can go to appearance and here what i can do is to change the size of my widget and it's very easy just click on it and mine is set to 75 and you can just change it to maybe 65 and click on ok and it's going to reduce the size of your widget and here if you don't like the pattern you can change it to 6 and it's also not bad so once you are good with your sizes and everything you can just bring them up to form something nice and keep it on your desktop so i'm going to close this one and move it right into the center to make it more minimal and clean once you have this click on anywhere on your dock and click on preference and here is where we are going to customize our dock to make it feel like our own and to do that here we can adjust a few settings over here to make our dock a bit nice and cool to sync with our setup so the first thing i'm going to change here is to make it start as a service so that it starts anytime i restart my computer and i don't have to go back to start and i won't need to go back to start my dock again the next thing i'm going to do is to hide my taskbar and it's pretty cool once you have this the next thing we can do is to go to look and view and here we can adjust the size of our dock to make it go with our customization and it's pretty cool so i'm just going to go with this one and if you want in-depth tutorial on how to set this to the full potential then watch this video on the top right corner of this video the next thing we can do is to set a stage manager and this stage manager is kind of cool but sometimes people but sometimes people have problem with it and i recommend you give it a try and see if it works for you then you keep it up and use and the last thing we are going to do is to right click anywhere on our desktop and here choose on show desktop icons in order to hide our icons to make our dog feel a bit clean and beautiful so this is it for this video and if you have any question just ask in the comment below and i'll reply to you as soon as possible and if you really enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching peace out bye bye